Ronelinchen Egalov, Ha Beric upon Tweed, Am Nike Jig, Trifichets a Shark Jig, Van Bale Erige, the Crius Tree, Achandurse, Van Streak a Yan of Le Sharvishant and Kare, Ovish Nadukan and Kane. Father son Griach Vare at the Alabag Assassin, Hud Hunyer Hu of a Beric, Shachunyer. A screever Hun is near the Callahan, Hud Runer and Nadukan and Kane, Anthony Crossland, Nach Shesse, Griach Vare Avon, Dol Hunyer, her Beric upon Tweed, Riscrudig at the Nashanta. Lianak is bolloch gymig at the tust brosnach och go selected opinion formers go skrivig men in jara rut ag is fisrach och skelig im is cool winker ins ne kommenten. Hug sheravishent in kahare crossland kallig an efriavere. However the dividing line was drawn, it would give England a considerable area of what are now Scottish waters. It might also have the effect of putting into English waters a certain amount and possibly even a great deal of oil. Hi planet of Ushnadukan in Kane or son the Kriok and Achruoch her Chemical Vinister and I guess Chemical Nunwinian. Rave Bernard Ingham, if I can name the art of a Garnian and the Wayne Quark, by he negates a copric in the Revi Puchtig social edition, Fat Drush, Hakrasho Information Division has sought for a long time in briefing to undermine SNP claims to North Sea oil. In the process, it has played on the Shetland Orkney uncertainty as well as the uncertainty about the angle of any dividing line between England and a hypothetically independent Scotland. Indeed, Hagrasho, it is part of my standard sales pattern. The Scottish GDP goes up by about 20% if you put North Sea oil into it. Just, just, so, sorry, just, uh, on, on the question, just briefly on the question of the Shetlands, which you mentioned, do you have any view about how that should be included? A Tory peer says Orkney and Shetland should have the right to remain part of the UK if Scotland votes for independence. If you start arguing about a share of Scotland's oil, that is, that is real dynamite. Yes, um, and Mr. Salmon deploys that argument. I heard him use it the other night in St Andrews. Uh, and I think what uh, we simply want to observe from the Northern Isles perspective is if it's a good enough argument in Edinburgh, it's also a pretty good one in Kirkall and Lerwick too. And we plan to use that in the uh, pretty vigorous discussion, I agree with you, that will take place on that particular aspect of independence. Fascinating. There we must leave it. Tavish Scott.